uh, is your A86 uh, making too much uh, gas smell on the exhaust? You may have wrong ignition timing. Here are the tools that you will need for this work. You will need a 12mm spanner to loosen the distributor bolts. You will need a rag, a timing light, an engine, time, engine ignition timing light. You can find this uh, on eBay for around 20-25 uh, uh, euros. Uh, this, uh, this is not a professional timing light, uh, but for amateur mechanics such as myself and probably yourself, uh, this will be more than enough for sporadic use. You will also need, if you want to uh, improve the visibility of the match mark on the uh, crankshaft pulley, you will need a toothpick and a little bit of acrylic based paint, or any paint, any bright paint that you can find around the house. You will also need a short piece of wire to shorten the two terminals on the ECU diagnostics connector, like shown in the manual. So the first step is, uh, as always, to check out the manual for the engine. You can check out this manual at aeu86.org. It's a very nice website with an active forum. Uh, they also have all the manuals you want to uh, consult about the 86 and the 4AG engine. So the first step for the adjustment of ignition timing is to warm up the engine. Easy enough. Then we have a tachometer and all this stuff. I believe that won't be needed for this procedure. Uh, so the next step will be to short the terminals uh, indicated in the uh, figure. Uh, we have to get a small wire and connect these two uh, terminals in the check uh, in the diagnostics uh, terminal. The diagnostics connector that contains the two pins that you have to shorten is located here. It will look something like this. You see, I'm shortening the T and the E1 pins. Upon successfully shortening the two terminals, you will see that the engine check light is uh, blinking. Then it is time to connect the timing light. Connect the red terminal to the red to the positive terminal in the battery and connect the black, the negative uh, terminal to the negative terminal of the battery. Finally, the sensing probe will have to be connected to the first, uh, to the, the spark plug wire that runs to the first cylinder. In this case, the first cylinder is always counted from the, the timing pulleys to the back of the engine. So you run the sensing probe over the wire that goes to the first cylinder. So it is time to start up the car. Our goal here is to align this match mark. It's a tiny, tiny, bench, tiny, tiny match mark. You will see on the uh, on the crankshaft pulley on the side of the plastic covers that cover the timing belt. Uh, and you can see this match mark when you are pointing the the timing light at this area here. You will see that it will blink somewhere in this position. You will see the match mark blinking somewhere around here. Uh, your goal is to twist the distributor so that the match mark will blink right over here in the blink line. It should be placed in this position here along the 10 degree mark. The two bolts that you have to loosen are this one and that one there. You see, I can twist the distributor slightly. We have to do this until the match mark on the uh, crankshaft pulley uh, matches the 10 degrees, which is our intended goal, according to the manual. Do you see the blue dots? I have painted the, the notch 
with a little bit of uh, blue ink so that you can see exactly where the um, where the notch is when you twist the distributor it will move towards one end or another end of the degree scale you must align that notch with the 10 mark on the degree scale which is visible on the plastic cover of the timing belt you see the, uh, the blue notch visible and as you can see it is exactly on the 10 degrees mark which is exactly where we want it so it's time to tighten the, the bolts on the distributor Now let's check the timing again to see if we do, did not move the distributor while uh, securing the bolts. It seems like it's still perfect. It is aligned with the 10 degree mark. So the timing is now tuned. Now remove the diagnostics cable. And close connector. And as you can see, like the Toyota manual says, the, uh, the timing will go towards the 15-16 mark, which is the appropriate timing when the engine is not in diagnostics mode. So, I believe that this is a success and uh, the timing is correctly set on this engine. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you really really liked the video, share it around with your friends with, with also uh, A86s and in the forums for example. This may help a lot of people with 4AGE motors.